Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time for our full circle. Have you ever found yourself stressed about changes that are happening around this oh, time yeah. of year? Kids are back at school. Maybe you're planning a wedding, looking for a new home, or just dreading the end of your hot girl summer. Some people call it August anxiety, and I think a lot of us are experiencing it right now. So we're going to talk through some of the ways we can work through all of the stress, or at least talk about our stress, and maybe you can help us. Mm -hmm. So are, are you feeling, are you ladies feeling stressed out with a K? Uh, yeah, just had to say it like that. Well, stress for me, uh, I, I, I don't feel any stress right now, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and for me, there is a, about to be a huge change uh, in my life, okay. um, for the good, okay. of course, so don't, don't be nervous, don't uh -huh. be worried, but I, I got to tell you, I think I'm a little bit more frustrating. I'm, I'm looking, I'm actually uh, in the market for a, a new home, mm -hmm. and I find it very challenging to, I, I mean, I have been diligently looking and it's like either it's not in the proper location or it doesn't have the, the amenities that I'm looking for or the square footage or the, you know the price point that I want to be within so it is a bit frustrating to me uh, I wouldn't say I'm stressed because I'm not going to take on that stress yeah. I made I'm making a conscious decision not to become stressed behind it so that's one of the things where we talk about what do you do uh, when you're faced with something that's mm -hmm. so huge that's life altering I think not to look at it uh, from a stressful standpoint. I mm -hmm. think you can choose how you're going to handle the situation. I choose to exercise a little more patience uh, in my process of uh, um, purchasing a home. Mm -hmm. uh, I may have to do some other things if, if I don't find the, the correct home out there for me, but I'm not going to look at, at it as a daunting task. Yes. I'm going to break it down into components and I'm going to have a checklist and I'm going to do one thing at a time until I look up everything will be taken care yeah, of. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. And just gratitude for the fact that you can even purchase your own home and get oh, what absolutely. you want, you know, so that's a, that's such a blessing, such a blessing. For me, I mean, you know, with the children being back in school for the last three years, I've been talking about like really outsourcing and getting some help. So I'm actually going to good. really do that, yeah, you gosh. know, and not be afraid of like, how am I gonna pay for it? But I'm like, when you step, like you gotta believe and trust that God will provide. Mm -hmm. And so I just gotta believe and trust yeah. that God will provide. So because I wanna be the best mother and wife that I can be and outsourcing some of those things that will allow help. me yeah. to be that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna need a Wednesday night Person. I think I got somebody mm -hmm. for Wednesday night. Okay, okay, then. okay. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be real good. So I'm trying. <laughs> so you just need a person <laughs> once a week. So, yeah, I just need that a person once challenging. a week. Yeah, it shouldn't yeah. be, but it's just my trust level. You yeah. know, just trying to find yeah. the right person to trust and and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. But um, I'm uh, I'm feeling great. I'm just really grateful. You know, and really just living, I keep saying living, and I'm truly like just being grateful for what you have. Mm -hmm. Because when you are grateful in what you have now, it only sets you up for what you desire. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people walk around here like, man, I just can't, and then, and then, then she did this. Right. And, mm -mm, let's so, just so, be good. So what I hear is exercising patience. Yes. And then allowing yourself to trust. Yes. Now, Trina, we also know that you are pl currently planning a wedding. And yes. I know when I was planning, <laughs> Away, it was very stressful. Well, I have 879,000 things going on right now, but <laughs> August always gave me like this feeling of angst mm. because usually summer you're carefree. Yes. You know, you don't really worry about anything. You know, summer just gives you this feeling of like freedom. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. You're by the pool, you're going to the beach, you're, you're on vacationing. Right. And it's like after August, it's like you're segueing into reality yeah. again mm -hmm. yeah, you know you're getting sure. the kids prepared yeah. for yeah. school yeah, and I, now i'm about to go back to school what? again really yes, i'm working on my mba yes. 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 Back to school now on the 26th yes so, you know, i'm getting ready for that and planning my wedding and you know making room in the house for a, a whole nother person you mm. know while i'm pushing the children out praise the lord have mercy thank you lord Amen. and um <laughs> but the thing is it's like september just feels like when you segue from august to september it just feels like it's time to clean house mm -hmm. from summertime yeah yes. you yes. know what i mean because now you have to prepare for all the fall activities and yeah. winter activities that are about to happen yes. now reality sets in yeah yes. yeah now is. it's yeah october time for those who celebrate halloween time for fall time for thanksgiving yeah. time for christmas and now you have to think about all those things it's like, that happen it's like a barrage of things happening now since august is over it's the like fall is a little recess serious. is it's over a little kids more it's time for academia yeah. yeah time for language arts after you just got finished eating your food and celebrating with your friends and having yeah. recess right now it's time to get back to class yeah all right speaking of getting back to class are you like really excited about your next journey i am yes yeah. Do you know how many people you're gonna motivate? Well, what what made you decide to to 
Go, go back, back to, to school. school. Right. Well, it, was a, it was a personal goal that I always had for myself, number yeah. one. Um, and number two, Barchick's is about to move, actually. So really? I'm working on that, too. It's, we're leaving Duluth and we're moving into the city. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. that's happening right now, too. Um, but I feel like you always have to invest in yourself. If I'm mm -hmm. really serious about being an entrepreneur, I have to always learn more day by day by day. So I'm going for entrepreneurial management. Yeah. So that's my yeah. idea is going to be in. So I'm just living my best life. Yeah. And my foot. Yes. 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 That is fantastic. Now, are you actually going to walk the campus or uh, well, are you going to do classes online? That's the that's the plan to walk the campus. Really? Yes. We well, want to say what school? No. Well, I get I get more out of the whole school experience when I'm able to ask the questions that I need to yes. to the professor yeah. or if I have um just any problems, I, I like to be there in the classroom setting. I'm, yeah. I'm just hoping that it doesn't pose a problem because I would. I just I tried the online thing before. Yeah, yeah. and I, it's, it's, a it's not feel. Yeah. It is. It's I'm a one of those feel. people that still prints out stuff because I like to read it and, and, and just in my hand. It, yeah. yeah, instead of and looking at a computer screen. Like yeah. This. yeah, I like reading books too. Yes. I don't like. Yeah, yeah. I, like, um, so good. how are you handling your August anxiety again? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, I, well, you know, there's lots of wine involved. Okay, wine. Okay, so is that, the, is that, is that our third thing? We're getting no. into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I have to be honest. Um, Vaughn has just been just a pillar of strength for yeah. me. Yes. He's just been amazing. Yeah. yeah. He really yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking forward Exercising to Exercising patience. Yes. Uh, learning to trust. Yes. Mm -hmm. And maybe organization. Definitely. Being oh, organized. Definitely organization. Organized. And you know what? And then going to the gym has been a really great outlet Ooh, for me. Because yes. I do that every morning before I come to work. Yes. Now, this okay. is really great. Uh, yes, it is. It's showing, it's showing baby. Yes, it is. <laughs>